もう死んでいる何もうあたくびでキレブこんにちは、私は今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、I don't honestly know why that's important to anybody, but I'm, you know, doesn't hurt. So I've got the box here. They call it the collapsible e tool. I have no idea, really, why it's called an e tool. I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a shovel. I don't know.、Uh, I don't know what the e stands for. I'm not sure. It says easy to grip steel handle. Is it for easy? I don't know.、Uh, the whole thing's all black. Kind of, oh, that's,、uh, that's all right. It comes in like this. Kind of a,、uh, it's like a rigid plastic.、Uh, I guess it could be clipped onto a belt or something like that, or, or a pack or something. Let's see, it's got these little spring clips here. They're about maybe two inches, they accommodate like maybe a, almost a two inch belt, and they spring out for uh, being uh, attached to something. I'm not really familiar with this exact type of clip. I don't know. My initial feeling on it is that it kind of feels like it would spring out kind of easily, but I don't know. That could be alright. But that, that's a, that, that looks pretty good, and the,、uh, the container it's in feels pretty rugged.、Uh, the only thing I would be thinking is like maybe at these corners, this plastic might start tearing. That's something that only time would tell if that's going to be the case. But、uh, overall, that seems pretty good. It's got some、uh, holes down here, which I guess are for drainage. You know, if you put it in wet. It can kind of dry out.、Uh, so, there's the carrying case for it. And here's the shovel itself. Okay, plastic bag off. It looks like some instructions here, which generally explain how to use it.、Uh, switching positions.、It、looks like it might be able to、uh, rotate to different positions, like use it as a hoe, which I think is pretty useful. Because a lot of times when you're using these things, when you're out、uh, you know, using them for doing trenching, Stuff like that.、Uh, I'm going to do it with something a little bit more challenging with it today, just actual shoveling, trying to shovel a lot of dirt.、Uh, all right, so you know, all the normal stuff in there. Cardboard thing there. And here is the item itself. It's got kind of a corrugated、uh, edge on two of these edges. At the moment, they're not particularly sharp, but it looks like you know, if you ran that over a、uh, grinding stone, it looks like you'd get those pretty sharp, and you could do some cutting with those of、uh, you know, rope, something along those lines. Uh, it's got the, the normal sort of thing here, it looks like. That rotates down, you get everything in line, and then this guy rotates up. I've been reviewing another one of their products where、uh, it's a, another type of shovel,、um, uh, and, and that one has the same kind of thing, but it's, it's a backwards thread, and I appreciate that this one is not backwards. Yeah, by backwards, I just mean unconventional. Usually it's righty loosey. No, <laughs> and the other one is righty loosey, lefty tighty. On this one, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey, the way you know, I'm kind of、uh, used to. Okay, so right off the bat, it feels, feels pretty rugged. The size of everything feels pretty good in my hand. I'm going to try doing some digging with this and、uh, get a sense of how it's going to hold up. But overall, just the, the design, it looks like it's built pretty well. I don't see anything in here that looks like it's looking to fail. They've got like、uh, self tightening washers on here. And、uh, yeah, let's give it a try and we'll,、uh, we'll see how it feels. What I'm working on today is I need to make kind of a culvert area that's going to go over this trench.、Uh, this trench here comes from a natural. Depression over here where there's a spring coming out, and it separates the driveway from this house right here. So, what we're going to do is put a culvert right over this. Now, I've already kind of started it. I got some old scrap piping from the construction on this place here, and I laid that down. I actually had four short sections, and I taped them together with duct tape. 
Uh, normally duct tape would not be a particularly effective way of joining this type of piping, but since it's not really moving anywhere and it really doesn't matter if it leaks, instead of going out and buying a coupling, I just use some duct tape. Uh, what I've done on both ends of it is I'm just piling up stones so that uh, you don't see the pipe sticking out. And I'm going to shovel into the center of that from this dirt pile that was left over here by the construction people. I'm going to shovel, shovel all of the, uh, the dirt into the middle there and make just a crossing so you can get from the, the driveway over to the front door. And to affect that, I'm going to be using that sh little shovel there. While I'm doing this, I figured I would just check out the functionality of this being used as a hoe. In which case, you loosen this, and it loosens very easily, even though it's all kind of covered up in dirt. This rotates to whatever angle you're looking for. This goes back. All right. And we'll try this for trenching. Yeah, it feels really comfortable. And sturdy. It feels very sturdy. Yeah, I give this high, high marks for how it's put together. And now I'm loosening it back up, flipping it back to the shovel again. And at least so far, it's not getting any dirt and it's not kicking up around there. It's pretty easy to uh, switch between the two. Yeah, this is working pretty well, both as a shovel and as a hoe. This is completely adequate. There's no problems with this. Feels stable. I feel like I get a lot of dirt on the end there. Good leverage. Everything about this is a-okay. Tac Niner, E-Tool. The only thing I have questions about is why the heck they call it an E-Tool, but this works really well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.